Hi guys. So at Coder Beginner Contest 2017 just finished, and uh, in this problem, like in this video, we will be solving a solving this problem, cutting woods. So this problem, well, yeah. So let us understand the problem statement of this problem. So actually, in this problem, we have been given a long piece of timber, and uh, it has got a length of L meters. And for each of the x equal to 1 to up to L minus 1, there is a mark called mark x at x meters from the left end of the piece. So basically, there is a piece something like this, and there is a mark after every one meter so this is one this is two up to l minus one and uh, we have been given q queries and in which in the ith query like uh, we will be given a pair of numbers ci and xi and we need to process the queries in the ascending order of the i as described below so if ci equal to 1 so basically if the type of the query like query is of first type we need to cut the piece at mark xi into 2 so suppose the query was 1 comma x then we need to cut the piece of timber into two pieces at the point x and uh, if ci is equal to 2 then we need to choose the piece with mark xi on it and we need to print its length so in this problem like it has been uh, said that if the if we are cutting the the piece at point x then like uh, there won't be any query of type 2 asking about the part uh, asking about the length of the part having the mark x because if it will be cut like uh, the mark x will be and on the end of the two pieces so that won't make sense so now we can take a look to the constraints so this l term so basically this l the length of the timber can range up to 10 to the power 9 and uh, this number of queries can be less than equal to 10 to the power 5 and uh, this is evident from the problem like there will be two type of queries so this ci can be one or either one or two and uh, this xi can be from 1 to l minus 1 and for every i there is no j such that this uh, c no j less than less than i such that cj xj is equal to 1 comma xi all the values and also the all the values in the input are in integer so there won't be any input like 3.5 or something so this is the input format and uh, first this is the length of the timber this is the number of queries and these are the q queries and in the output we need to print the number of lines equal to the number of queries of the second type and in the jth line we need to print the response to the jth query jth, jth queries of the second type so if we will be like uh, doing a brute force approach this will obviously tle because uh, obviously give us tle because like uh, the l is uh, of the order 10 per 9 and if we will be making an array of uh, such length to store whether uh, there is a cut or not or what is the like length of so that we can calculate the length of each part then like uh, this won't work and also we cannot declare a, uh, an array of such a large size so we need to think of some optimization and uh, one optimization is that what we can do since these are offline queries 
meaning like uh, we have got all the queries and we need to return the answer of all the queries then we can process the queries in the opposite direction so in the opposite direction what will happen that uh, in the end like uh, this uh, timber will be divided into a number of parts and we can label each part such uh, like this and then we can use the union find algorithm so union find data structure to combine the two parts whenever we cut this part into two parts. so like uh, while we will be it uh, processing the queries backwards so when in the query when uh, we were asked to cut the timber into two pieces at the point x we will be actually doing we will be combining this the part which is on the left side and the which is on the right side to combine a, to make a big timber at point x and uh, the union find a data structure like the disjoint set and union data structure give us ability to tell the number of tell the size of each com each uh, separate part so this is what we'll be using so we can try to implement this so the first input will be the length of the timber and the second input will be the number of queries so now we need to since we need to process all the queries in the opposite direction we will have to store all the queries and uh, for that i will be using a vector and it will be a vector of pairs and i will call it queries yeah so we can so we can iterate q number of times for representing each query and each query will have a c and an x so this c is the type of the query so if the type of the first we will store each, each queries each query in the queries vector and if uh, the type of the query is is one then uh, we need to i'll be using of another vector called cuts to store the points at which the cuts have been made so if the type of the query is of first type then uh, we will push the x in the cuts and now and at the end like uh, we will also push the l here because uh, we can assume that there is a cut on the rightmost part of the timber to help uh, in the implementation of this problem and uh, after that we will sort the cuts now we have uh, sorted the points at which cuts have been made we can uh, find the size of each each piece of timber left after all the cuts so i will be using first of all like uh, let us declare a variable n and it will be size of the cuts vector and uh, to store the size of the each piece i'll be declaring a vector and i'll call it magnitudes 
and uh, it will have size n and magnitude of the first element the first piece will be parts of zero and for next pieces we can subtract the the coordinates of the two cuts to get the magnitude so the magnitude of i part will be equal to parts of i minus cuts of i minus 1 so we have got all the magnitudes now we can make a dsu so i'll be using the snippet of a dsu so it is just the simple implementation of the dsu using uh, using the rank, uh, rank uh, using the union by rank and uh, i will be making a vector i will like keep it public so that i can set its value and also access its well outside so after we will be initializing it initializing this disjoint set union then we can set the magnitudes as and while we will be doing the union if this y if this x set is merged to the y y set then we also need to add the magnitude of the x set to the magnitude of y set similarly i'll be adding the magnitude of the y set to the x set here also the same so now we need to process all the queries in backward direction so i will be using a for loop i will be starting from q minus 1 and it will go till i i equal to 0 and uh, we can have the type of the query by doing queries i dot first and we can have the value by doing queries i dot second now we need to find the two parts to which this x will belong so basically if there is a cut at a timber at the timber let me explain so suppose this is the timber and uh, we made a cut at the x then the timber will get uh, will get divided into two parts so this is the left part and this is the right part so we need to find the left part and the right part so that we can do union to the two parts whenever the query of the first type the type that is involving the cut will be encountered so first of all like uh, we will need to declare the disjoint set for the rods so i will be calling it and uh, i'll be calling it rods because no no it can be called timbers also 
basically they are rods so rods of the timber so it, it is better to call them rods so and uh, now we have got this first of all we will need to set the value of magnitude of each part yeah so this is the vector uh, this is the array containing the magnitudes of the each segment in the tsu so this will be equal to the corresponding size of each segment that we calculated here and then now we need to check whether the type of the query is of first type so if it is of first type then a cut was made at the position so since we are uh, like processing the query in the opposite direction we will join these two uh, pieces so first layer let us find the left piece so it will be it will be easily found using a binary search approach in which we will check between which we between which these two cards the x will lie so this will give us this will give us the left part and now we can get the right part no no this will give us the first thing will give us the now it will give us the right left part and now it will give us the right part so now we have got the like the encoding of the two parts so suppose this is 0 this is 1 and this is 2 so if x is 1 then this will the left part will be 0 and the right part will be 1 so now we have got the left and right part then uh, if the query is of first type then we need to combine them so combining is easy we can do rods dot union and we can have left right and uh, if the query is of second type so we need to return the size of the timber having the point x in it so this right will represent so this left and right will both will lie will be same if the x is not lying on a partition so we can use any of them to calculate the size of the segment so first of all we will be doing rods dot find to find the parent of the of that segment so we can do rods dot find of right and then we can do rods dot magnitudes and then rods dot find right can get rid, rid of this yeah so this is basically the size of that timber but since we are like processing all the queries in the opposite direction we need to store first store all the answers into a vector and then we will be printing the answers in the opposite direction so we 
we can do something like this so the answer will be pushed in pushed into the answers vector and now we need to iterate backwards so this should work let us try it running on the te sample test cases so it is giving us the answer to so this it is equal to 2 and let us try running this case 6931638368 so it is working just fine so now we can submit it yeah it got accepted so thank you guys.